Hello guys, welcome to How to Chow Part 4. I want to have you listen to something. Because I just realized it. Like, I got Tesher level 11 August 2014, right? I was talking him up, talking him up from the get-go. And everybody was like, eh, Tesher sucks, Tesher sucks, Tesher sucks. He's useless, the most useless, one of the most useless in survival. He's good for his... Uh, like farming, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and now everybody wants a Tesher. Like mm -hmm. everywhere I go, all the all the Twitch streams, like everyone's like, "Oh, favorite Nat Five Tesher." Oh, I wish I had a Tesher. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Chow will be the same. Just remember that. Just gotta write it down. There you go. He'll get a buff. He'll get a buff, and all of you will cry. Yeah, I'm waiting <laughs> for it. Here we go. And yes, you will. Well. <laughs> I, I'm just saying that we have video, or well, at least audio proof, that I friggin' called that shit, man. I called it, I called the buff. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Anyway. Uh, welcome to How to Chow Part 4, uh, once again. And Chow got justice. Justice. Yeah. Pronounce it. Chow got justice. Which is a pun, and I am sorry. <laughs> but yeah, he got it. He was already max skilled, so thankfully no bugs. I was a bit scared about it. Apparently, some people who didn't have him max skilled but had some skill ups in it, some disappeared. I don't know what happened. Anyway, uh, mine was max skilled since <laughs> like June 2015, so he's fine. And he got this this passive. This is his new passive, which is the same as the old one, but now the more HP he has. The more damage he does. I tested it. It doesn't scale with missing HP. It scales with current HP. So since it's current HP, even the, the number of HP, like if you have more HP, you do more damage. It's not about percent where your HP is in a percentage. If you are at uh, 25,000 HP, you will do more damage, less damage than if you are at 30,000. Also, attack also goes into this, so it's really hard to calculate, but uh, trust me on this, uh, the more HP, it, it works like similarly to uh, Teshar's second skill, like, because the more HP the target the enemy currently has, the larger the damage becomes. So this attack as well is not just about 100%, uh, it's not just about percentage of HP that the enemy has, it also has to do with how much HP the enemy has and defense etc etc so though all of it that goes into consideration but it's it's the number as well same monsters with uh, same defense but different HP take more damage like the one with the higher HP takes more damage from Tesher than the other one that's how I know uh, so yeah let's without further ado uh, well wait show <laughs> show you his new stats like these are his new stats I tested uh, him with both attack or damage attack, HP or damage HP, and HP or damage attack. Obviously, I am limited by my own runes. Like, if you have better runes, different runes, anything might work better for you. So, let's go uh, like pretty hard into every single aspect of the new Chow. For starters, attack or damage attack is out. Out of the window. It's good. Uh, let's. I I, te I found a few clothes in arena. I'm in like high guardian, so it's hard to find some clothes. But I found some, and uh, I tested on clothes. They have decent defense. One of them even had a Darian. So yeah, average damage is about 41 to 42k, 40 to 42k with justice, with attack buff and defense break on the Chloe. Uh, that's about the average with attack or damage attack. Uh, slightly more. Uh, with similar runes, with the, those exact stats that you see here, actually. Slight, with less crit damage, with uh, less attack, but more HP. Uh, with HP crit damage attack, it's the same damage. I do 40 to 42k with changing an HP rune for an attack rune, uh, an attack rune for an HP rune, and I did the same damage. I saw the same damage being done. And mind you, these are the two runes I switched around. So this rune. This is the new one, and this is the old one. So you'll see like 18% crit damage, right? Like, uh, there's... It's a pretty big difference. Though this one has attack, a lot of attack as well. So, yeah. 
So the damage was the same with HP could damage attack and attack could damage attack. So obviously <laughs> we go for HP to get more tanky. And you see he has like 30 and 29 point something. Uh, he has a lot of, like he has some ungrindstone stuff though. But I think his HP is grindstone, wherever it is. Yeah, here it is. I think this is less than... Yeah, he has a big HP here. Yeah... I'm thinking I might make this into an HP instead of an attack one. I don't know. This actually... The crit damage one is definitely being changed. I'm not keeping the crit damage here. I'm going to lower it to get uh, either HP or attack. We'll see. Uh, and this one hasn't been gemmed yet. It's either gonna go to... It's probably gonna go to HP. So yeah, that's the new chow. Uh, that's the, the the damage I tested the whole like uh, as soon as the patch hit, I go home from work and I was trying out chow a bit. You'll see my mana it suffered a bit. I switched a few runes around. Uh, for those of you who worry about your world boss, if you're using chow as like if he's one of your top contributors, like he is in my world boss actually, he's like second. Uh, he's still second, even with the HP rune. So nothing changed there. So you're good. Uh, that's about it. Let's actually see him in action now with Justice. Uh, we have a Guild Wars going on. I don't know who... It... Oh, it's against Fury. Excellent. Let's hit my good friend Cognix. Who can we chow here? And uh, we can chow the second one. We can definitely chow the second one. And hope for the best. I'm really scared of his uh, Wusa though. His Wusa is scary. <laughs> He's so strong. Uh, let's do let's do the usual shit. Though so I understand you probably want to see like Galleon and uh, actually we can do that now, can't we? With ah, uh, you know what? Fury. I'm sorry to say that it's not very hard. We should be able to beat them. So let's actually go a bit more YOLO and have fun. Oh, not with not with Cognix. But I I will not be I will not feel horrible if I you know get a bit trashed. Uh, can we hit girl red? This looks okay-ish. I want to pair chow with... Eh, whatever. Let's go for this one. Hope for the best. Um, where's Galleon? This, this is the PvP one, right? Yeah, this is the PvP Galleon. And, uh, I don't know why not Molly. Okay, let's go like this. <laughs> this should be fun. This should be lots and lots of fun. Okay. So, how to chow. Uh, featuring Theomars, Velazio, and Jasun. <laughs> I realize it's hard to find a comp. Like, everyone puts the best comp on the first one, so chow is kind of... No, I could attack the fir the second one with chow now, actually, now that I think about it. The first one with chow. But Sasun annoys me, so... It. Oh, we removed the buff! Yay! I, for those of you who don't have like Molly and stuff, I think Chao is very, very good with Orion and Tsun right now. Actually, uh, he needs heals now more than before. Like you don't actually like the more he drops. Uh, I'll, I'll just keep talking about Chao while we do this. Ayo, I'm sorry, but you can watch the Guild Wars videos if you want to like watch my thought process throughout. The Anyway, so now you want Chao to stay at top HP as much as possible. So the way you do that is uh, you bring a strong healer with him. <laughs> nah. uh, so he's better than Tsun than he was before, actually. Before he was decent, but now he's like much, much, much better than before. I like him with Tsun a lot. The, the, the reason I don't put him with her is that I like Theomars with Tsun a lot. And... Uh, what I also like is uh, defense break, and if I pair Tasun and Vela with, well, I could go like Orion Tasun Chao, of course, but that would like leave some weird stuff for my other defense, which I, I might still try. I might still try like the Orion, the I might still try the Vela Theomars Molly comp, you know, and you know play around with those. It might it, it might definitely be interesting, uh, but yeah, for now. Keeping this to the same uh, points, try to keep Chow up, you know, keep him alive, keep him uh, at the highest HP possible. His passive obviously helps with that, and now that you have more HP, you heal for more as well. So, you know, it's uh, it's fast, it's fun, it's uh, it's excellent. 
So yeah, let's see how Cha will work now. Wow, what? My galleon was faster than Orion? How did that work? Okay, excellent. So Chao didn't... Okay. Are you ready, guys? And... Let's kill Juno. Or, no, let's kill Orion. Boom! <laughs> That's so cool. 41k. So, yeah. 41. I'm sure you are all liking that one. 41, huh? Let's see the first attack as well, because Justice is freaking huge multiplier, obviously. And there's no one dead, too. Imagine if two of them are dead, what Justice can do. So the first attack, 27k. Pretty good. I'd say pretty good. Right? Wait, did we kill Perna? Why did he die? 12k, no buffs at all on Justice. Pretty good. It's a crushing hit, yeah, but... You see, like, very, very respectable damage with an HP rune and, like, fucking 30k HP. Like, he has 29k before any buffs. And I have a level 1 uh, Guild Wars uh, HP flag and a level 10 of the building is full. It's like 20%. And 20% of his 13k HP is... a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, it's over, like, plus 2k. So he definitely has over 30k HP. So, yeah, new Chao. Uh, let's try to find a way to do this against him. Uh, should we do Tiana? Like, one-shot someone at the beginning? We could, but my... He'll probably get interrupted because he's slow now. I need to grindstone him. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Whatever, let's go. Let's try to kill Cognix. I like attacking him because he actually appreciates the, the feedback on his ADs. I, li I really like uh, his uh, second one, actually. I think it's a pretty decent trap because everything is like really speedy and there's ample defense break from Jultan and uh, a defense buff, like lots of buffs. Like It suffers a bit to buff removal, but actually not too much because they're so fast, they just cycle through their cooldowns a lot and it works really well. So. Uh, it actually is very good. Like, I, I really like his second defense. His first one is more generic, and it just lost to a violent proc, but, you know, these things happen. But, uh, but, yeah, I really like his second defense. I like defenses that look more, uh, you know, innocent, but are not actually innocent. <laughs> you know, they're dangerous. And I like defenses that are not obvious. Like, this defense, you know, it's obvious. It's, it's Orion Theomars Praha. It's going to take your buffs away and try to kill you. I don't know why I did that to Praha just now. She's just gonna dream, daydream, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I like I like less obvious defenses, for sure. Uh, so the second one, you don't actually really know what's going on, right? Because it's, you know, it's a defense that has Jultan, which is rather common in defenses, but not too much. And then you have Usa, who is extinct. And you have Mihail, who is... The fuck is that? Like, most of you guys don't even... You know, I've never seen her in an arena because she's, you know... She's very, uh... She, she doesn't do much against Lucian. She used to be all the rage, actually. People go rank 1 with Mihail in her in their defense back in the day. But, yeah, that's, that's why I like this team. That's why I actually like this team. Let's see if we can one-shot someone and, you know, that will help us uh, do something later. Let's, uh, okay. Should we do, who should we do? I, I'm pretty sure we could one-shot anything here, right now. Uh... We should probably get rid of the defense break. Let's get rid of the defense break. See, werewolves have pretty low defense. We just did 46.5k! I realize those are more low defense targets. Uh, the, the, the werewolves, they, they have pretty low def base defense, uh, for those of you who didn't know. But still, man, this is crazy! Let's see on defense buff. 12k. So that's like a 14, uh, 20 something. But without defense buff. Aw, oh, you, you wanted to reset my cooldowns. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> so cute. What? Didn't die? Die, bitch! There we go. 
And yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that when the, the Violent Pox start, he's gonna be devastating. Uh, if it's break, thank you. Ah, uh, let's see how much we do to him. Come on, don't kill him before we... Okay, there we go. Ah, 42.165. It's not exactly the same we did on, uh, on Juno, on Orion. But yeah, uh, guys, Chao is an option. He's good for... He's actually easier to rune now. Because you actually don't need that great stats on him, I think. Uh, like before, my Chao before with the runes I had before. To be honest, we're just one room different, different. Still, that was harder to reach for the mid-game player. But I think like, you don't have to have my chow stat, but I'm sure you can get similar ones and make a, a hell of a chow uh, for your own uh, self. So we can hit someone else to complete the, you know, the chow fest. That's got too much wind. We want to use chow. Come on, Fury, accommodate me. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit too yolo for the second. Well, we can go Molly, can we? For this. We can probably go Molly. Yeah, the first one can stay the same. Okay, so. Actually, I should have speed cleared the first one with Tiana. But whatever. I have two guys. Oh no, I can't use two guys. So yeah, I, I couldn't have. The second one, the second offense team is a bit too yolo, but, but you know, Molly self heals, Chow self heals, so. You know, I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> to happen. Uh, we're attacking the monkey because we don't want him to uh, you know, attack us back, back. Okay, thank god he didn't crit on the second one and uh, let's actually put another dot on him and uh, see if we can defense break him. We can. And we can actually kill him. Okay, that was... Uh... Theomars has been behaving really well this, uh, this uh, series, I feel. He's been a good boy. I, let, let it not be said that I don't pay attention to violent procs when they happen for me. I am. Like, that's the whole point of this comp, actually. The point that, like, my, my, a lot of Theomar's comps do that, but I think mine, like, accentuates it even more. It, like, if it gets a violent proc, it's gotta kill something and you lost. And because if you lose someone against this comp, there's almost no way you're coming back. I mean, it's got heal, it's got. Attack bar boost, it's got defense because attack buff, it's got everything. Like, you're not coming back. Probably not. Okay, so now we have a defense leader. Uh, let's see if we can uh, kill this. Uh, let's get rid of the defense break, actually. 35.6 with the defense leader and the shield buff. So, we got the whole of the shield buff. Holy shit, he hurts so much! <laughs> this is awesome! And he has, like, I wouldn't be this happy. Like, I'm still not very happy with the child buff. Let it be said, I, I might look happy, but I'm still not that happy because I think that just giving him justice was lazy. Like, you could have done so much more. You could have done so, like, I like that they changed his passive. Like, if they hadn't, I'd be super pissed. But I still think they could have done something you know, a bit more. Like, change Torrent, maybe. They didn't have to get rid of Torrent, but... I, I, I like this new uh, mechanic of Chao. Uh, he's a completely... Let me state this like very clearly. He's a completely different monster. Before, what I suggested and what you probably should do is you know try to make him tanky enough to survive a couple of hits so that he would get to torrent range, but like make him damage enough so that he would do enough damage before he gets to torrent, ra uh, torrent uh, range. Now? You put a lot of HP, you put a lot of attack on him, and you just let him loose. Let the little boy go. And, uh, you know, bash heads in. Uh, that's been it. I'll uh, show his runes again. Let's go over them. Like his stats, his runes are violent nemesis, attack or damage HP. Uh, you now really want to max his slot 5, and I'm actually a bit sad that mine is uh, such a good rune, but it's uh, a 5 star, so I'm missing on like. 500 HP there, like 400 HP. Uh, that's a bit more damage, but you know, you definitely want to max this rune. Except his. Actually, Chow now, like, gains from every single rune he has. Like, he gains from this one, from attack, and see, like, the two runes that could give him more damage right now are 5 star both, but they're so good, so I can't do anything about it. 
So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. The music is oddly, you know, uh, <laughs> it's inspirational music. Ciao is, uh, is here to stay. And uh, yeah, thank you for uh, not giving up on him. Those of you who haven't, fuck you to the ones that waited for the buff for two years until they used him, but congrats as well. And I uh, hope you have fun uh, with the Bye.